Welcome back to Blackwell Deception. I am Mislid. Last time we sent Tiffany off into the afterlife, all happy and I get not content, but she said it felt good like Gavin was there, which is bad? Good? I don't even know. I don't even know. This time we have another person to go help, and that is Jamie. Jamie used to Speaking go to the Columbia campus at night isn't how I envisioned coming back here. Keypad locks. Those are new. Oh, that stinks. So Jamie goes to Columbia University, which is where Rosa used to go, apparently. Um, we've got some stuff in here that we, of course, can't see. A laptop and a poster and a radio and a note. All right, let's send Joey up in here. Oh, come on in. Don't, Hello? Don't like be like that. Is clear. What am I supposed to do? I shouldn't walk over here and not look at that mess. Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I Class schedule, I assume. Okay. Poster like or something. A poster for a band called Epileptic Fish? Seriously. Epileptic Fish. That. It's an interesting name. Looks textbooks? Like what you got? What are they? What? Come on, Joey. I know what this is. It's a cassette player. I think it replaced the 8-track not too long ago. Wow. Wow, Joey. It's like you haven't been around humans for 40 I have years. I no idea what this thing is. Alright, so let's read this note. It says, Remember Waterloo. Remember Waterloo. Oh, okay. Is that supposed to be helpful in some way? Just a set of drawers. Right. Well, we Mess is nothing. By coming here. Jamie's a slob. Fair enough. Looks like a you want bunch a shelf? of junk nope. to me. Okay. A mess, still nothing going. Okay, let me go back to... Remember Waterloo. That's what it was, right? Waterloo. Waterloo. Battle of Waterloo. The Battle of Waterloo was fought in June 1815 near Waterloo in present-day Belgium. Then part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. So, 1815, um, June 1815, back to Waterloo. And it's on her door by her keypad. So, there's a keypad on this door. 1815? I mean, that's what we have, so that's why I'm putting it in. Boom. Nice. You are very insecure it against a like ghost. A for a band called Epileptic Fish? I've heard of those guys. I'm not sure they play together anymore. So this looks like a class schedule. See, I told you. A bunch of the course codes from told you. Here. You remember that after all this time? It wasn't that long ago. If you say so. Let's see. Dang, Joey. She's mostly taking English and history classes. Uh huh. Now this is interesting. She's taking the same writing class that I did. That's interesting. Well, it is to me. She's even got the same professor. See who we can call and ask about it. Laptop. 1815? Are you that pitiful? No. Waterloo? No. Okay. I assume that's something else then. This is really old. It's got a cassette player and everything. Does anyone listen to cassette tapes anymore? It must be something she had as a child. Enjoy these are brand new. Alright, we got a... Pretty typical for a college kid, I guess. Fair enough. Let us... <coughs> Professor Appleton taught one of my writing classes when I was a student. Turns out Jamie is taking the same class now. Man, sorry about that. I'm sneezing all over the place today. It's these allergies and this pollen everywhere. Alright. Um, let's... Can we call her? Can we Google her? Lane Appleton. So let us, um, <coughs> Elaine Appleton. Come University, English Department, Creative Writing, Office Hours 4 to 8, phone number. Call her. Hello? Hi, is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around 10 years ago. Angela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. 
I saw you had a book published. Is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? We've tried to get uh, books I published. I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie. Tried Graham. being the key yeah. phrase to all so that. Tragic. What happened? Tragic. So what I happened? Don't know. She mm -mm. died just last week. I no, no, I didn't. Oh well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police. But go ahead. So, what, how'd she die? How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. What? Really? That's, what that's the a second person. Anyway. Why police? were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I mm -hmm. wanted the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Durkin? I remember Durkin. What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over, and when she showed up at all. And as for what right, she Gavin's was wearing, fault. well, let's just say it wasn't appropriate. Uh, brilliant? What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it, too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history, so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. Interesting. So, she you faded? You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured not it was a useful. typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember you being a bit closed off once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. No, we don't. I mean, we do, but she didn't. Uh, clothes, what I guess? What wrong with her clothes? What else? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. All right, and we can go Jamie there and talk to her. She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. A half a shirt. Okay, we've asked those. I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. Oh. You did? The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh, God. I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. Well, that sucks. Is that the worst we've remembered ever? So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. Oh, tell me about... That's you. who I'm talking to right now. Ah. Right? I meant ask her about herself. Dork. Have you, you ever Gavin? heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. It's a fairly unusual Do name. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? Hmm. No. I don't know anyone with that name. All right, how ever go up to the High Line? Let's go through all the it's questions. Gorgeous, isn't it? My husband and I went for a walk there last summer. But you haven't been just opened. Since. No, we haven't. Why? Oh, no reason. I don't even know why I'm asking these questions. Can we ask about Durkin? Why were the police involved? I wondered this. The detective. No, I was hoping for like you know something else. I okay. should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, Tote should. Uh, sure. Sure, sure. You take care. Yeah, let's have coffee with her. What's wrong with that? Let us go to, um... Oh. Dang on it. Let's go to, I mean, the Google, uh, was it Munrays? What's it called? Munrays. Whatever, what, nightclub, a time... In magazine. All the best in house Translatronica. Special guest TJ Tomo. Wait, Tomo? Is that the guy always sending me emails? Like every five minutes? New, who's this? 
My name is Scott Haynes. My wife, Madison, told me you were bashing her with my mother and my mother with questions today. Feminists do a tremendous ordeal and don't need you stirring things up. I don't get the, Shut up, Scott. Shut your face. We're trying to help everybody out here. I will sick my ghost on you. Let's go to Mudray's. Oh, wow. A $20 cover for this dump? You got robbed. What? I said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. Well, yes, kind of. Ah, just forget it. Okay. Group, I don't care about. VIP lounge. Drunk guy. Guy. He looks drunk, whoever he is. Fair He's enough. Just leaning against the wall. Stop to him, then. Talk to him. Click it. Make small talk. Hi. Hi? I can't just chat with some stranger. Not here, anyway. Why not? Why not? Talk to Junga, then. Hi. So. He's just looking at me funny. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Alright, so we got... Search for a song. I don't care about that. I don't know a song except for that uh, fish thing. Hi, got a sec? Hello? She's serving a bunch of customers on the other side. I can't get her attention. Fair enough. There's a sign that says the VIP area is closed. I could try and climb over, but I'd get caught instantly. You're all drunk. What are they going to do to you? Hey, Joey, go in here. Go on up anyhow. And there is our ghost. Jamie? You're Jamie Graham, aren't you? Do I know you? Um, nope. Not yet, but uh, I hope to change that. You think so, huh? Anyway, I'm Joey. Uh-huh. Well, there's music. Interesting music, huh? It's all right. Care to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. Why are you here? So, what brings you here? It's not a place to go, right? It's Both the music sucks. Like this is all music. Like, why are you? Are you alone here tonight? That's a crime. Whatever. I'm here with friends. Where are they at? Friends, huh? They'll be here any minute. Well, in the meantime, how about we get to know each other? How about not? Why are you being all mean? So, how about a drink? No thanks. Come on, just one drink and a conversation. If you still don't like me, you can dump it on me. Deal? Don't tempt me. Um, oh, come Why on. are you being like this? You barely know me. Please, I've already got a dog back home. Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. His name is Benji. You'd like him. You've got a lot in common. Benji, huh? Benji, huh? I've got a scram, but uh, don't you go anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Promises. You're stuck here, woman. Cause you are dead. Dead, I tell you. So let's, hmm. Let's get out of here. Hard because this, I don't wanna talk to this. Hard because the lights are making my head hurt already. Let's, um, we have Durkin in our phone. Let's call our Favorite detective. Hi, it's Rosangela Blackwell. Remember me? Yeah. What do you want? Punch you in the face. To punch you in the face. I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. You get around, don't you? Yep. I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look. Because you don't know anything. And I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. Anyway, you know a place in Alphabet City called Cup of Clay? Why, yes, I do. I do. Cool, let's go. Uh, Kathy. Hi, hey, Rachel. How are you? I oh, the door doesn't use the door. Is it forget this nonsense? Hi, Detective Durkin. Oh, it's you. So, what bring me a coffee. For you? I would like to talk about Jamie. So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? And? The body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Oh, natural snap. Or not, how did the body get in there? 
that is ridiculous. So it was murder. I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room, some kind of VIP area. One minute, dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody they just threw her. Died, just that she was dead. Anyway, the bouncer saw it and freaked, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like what? I said, cut and dry. Case Dude. Closed. Dude. How are you sure she wasn't murdered? We have this thing called a coroner's report. Right. What did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel burst? It happens. One thing's for we sure. We got two of those. No murder. Just rotten luck. We got two of those, though. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important. Why? I don't know. Could I see it? You do owe me. I don't know about that. But you certainly do get around. Look, True that. I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You might be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're alright. Thank Thanks. you, Durkin. Don't thank me. You owe me now. What? No, that's not how it works. Yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. That is not how it works. If you owe me a favor, and then you do me a favor, I don't suddenly owe you. So any we are then even. Jeremy? Look. You helped us like, come out on now. ID, but don't push it. You know about as much as I do. This club where Jamie died. It was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. I know all kinds of stuff. All right, what else we got? Um. Do you know anyone named Gavin? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. He's How many Gavins kind do you of know? A cult leader. I'm not sure what he does yet. Yet? Have you heard of him or not? Nah, sorry. Alright, um, how about Highline? Has this ever happened on the Highline before? Not like that, no. The place used to be a dump. They cleaned it up good, but some grime, you can't wash it off. Haha, <laughs> that's okay. Um, how come I asked this already? Still open after what okay. they did? How do you think any club stays open? They offer favors and spread money around to the right people, and the whole thing never happened. It's all hushed up. Nothing in the papers, even. We can fix that. So, any progress on Jeremy? Might as well ask. You helped us out. You know oh, about come as on. much as. I well, bye. See ya. All right. So let us. Did he send us already? Maybe. No. Okay. So let's leave. And go. Check it out. There we I go. got a message from Durkin. Uh huh. How do I access it? Okay, I guess I'll go home and look out there. It's like your phone kind of works when you're away from stuff. I thought you got a message from Durkin. I don't understand. Well, okay, I guess I gotta be hovering over it to. No, I can't click it. Oh, course for and okay, whatever. Never mind me. Little work clean. No sign of harmful or illegal substances. Cause of death: traumatic hemorrhage due to spontaneous bleeding into the brain tissue. That caused by what? Caused by what? You don't hear. Okay. Her blood vessel just all exploded. No reason. Just, you know, because... I don't think those are connected in any way. How about... This coroner report doesn't tell us anything we didn't already know. I'm all right. It's kind of worthless so far. Which probably means it becomes useful later. Let's go back to Mud Race. <laughs>